Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, I listen to a lot of sports talk shows. On a recent Mike Missanelli show, in which he is interviewing Breaking Bad actor Aaron Paul. Right, that segment of the show should be online in a podcast. Miss Anelli contends that a famous boxer, I'm not going to say the boxer's name, but he's known to gamble. A famous boxer has apparently, according to rumor, put more than $10 million dollars on the Denver Broncos for this Sunday's Super Bowl. Ten million dollars. Right? In fact, the number is a little bit more than ten million dollars. Now, just know I'm on the other side of the play. Right? I'm hedged up. I've been betting futures. I'll win if either team wins, quite frankly. But, I'm expecting the Seattle Seahawks to win the Super Bowl. More importantly, here is a prop bet I want you to consider. And I would encourage all the sharp bettors, and I know there are a few of you out there who follow my videos to literally do the research on this one. Right now, and you need to figure out the legality of wherever you bet in your jurisdiction. Okay, just for purposes of pointing to a point spread and not for any other purpose, not to endorse this online casino or to encourage you to bet at an online casino, just simply for illustrative purposes in terms of pubbing a prop. If you go to Bovada right now and it's 422 p.m. Pacific time on January 31st, 2014. If you go to Bovada right now, there is an incredible prop listed. It's an alternate line prop, right? Where you're getting not three points, not two and a half points, but you're getting seven and a half points. The half point is key to take the Seattle Seahawks over the Denver Broncos, right? It's Seattle plus seven and a half. And the payout, and payouts always matter. Keep in mind, this is an alternative line, right? The payout is a minus 325. I would encourage gamblers to take a hard look at that prop. Seattle plus seven and a half. The payout is a minus 325. Because in the entire Russell Wilson era in Seattle, the last two years, right? In the last two years, Seattle has not lost a regular season or playoff game by more than seven points, right? For Denver to cover on this prop, they're going to have to do something that no team has done to Seattle during the regular or postseason for the entire time that Russell Wilson has been the Seahawks quarterback. Do the homework. I think this prop deserves a look. I'm selling two other props on my DwyerSportsBetting.com site right now for five bucks for the two, five bucks total for the two props. But I want you to take a look at this prop and just understand, I'm expecting Seattle to cover the spread uh, being offered at Bovada. Right now, the line is Seattle plus three at Bovada, right? Understand they've hit you on the payout. It's a minus 120. But I'm expecting Seattle to not only cover the plus three, but if I were just taking this game on a money line, I would expect Seattle the underdog to win this game out 
Right. Just understand, though, that Denver is the favorite for a reason, and that some deep-pocketed players are literally betting millions of dollars, allegedly, according to reports, on the Denver Broncos. Give it a look. Do the homework. Enjoy the game. Good luck. To sum up, there's a prop being offered on Bovada right now. It's Seattle plus 7.5. The payout is a minus 325. I like that prop. I hope you give it a look. Thanks for stopping by.